hey welcome once again to this uh full course on the raj api so in this we're going i'm going to show you on how you can generate the security credential you can see from here this is security credential is one of the uh, request body that you need in order to do a b to c transaction so uh, in order to generate an uh the security credential i've shown uh, in the previous video shown the an easy way where you can generate it from the portal but this will only apply for uh, sandbox so here you can see for sandbox here not here sorry you can just click here let's go then when you come there's this sim uh, like an emulator that you can use it here so you can here use it you can use this to generate a security credential and another way you can do which i i saw uh, the there's a way you can do and so you can uh, generate another one from this let me take first uh, let me come here at apps then uh, click test credential so you can see the generate b2c credential value so you can come here and choose for sandbox also uh, for sandbox then you can just do this let me take the password that i entered this password here uh, where's the password or i can just take it from this from here from these apis then click let's go then i will take the password that is used for test credential so that i can generate it from there so i can come here and do this and copy uh, this so when i copy this i can come to test credential then just do this and paste that so you can see this is the password then choose need here then i can just come here and generate a security credential where i can copy it and then come back to my b2c you can see here in b2c in b2c then take this you can see when i remove it and i remove that then come and test first without the security credential you will see the error that it will give us it will show us an invalid security credential so when we take the one that we have generated here this one and come back to our here then on security credential just paste that one then you come here and then you generate here when you generate you will see we have gotten a successful transaction mean that's a valid security credential now i'm going to show you on how you can generate it uh, using your code so when you run your code it will automatically generate so that you cannot stop you can stop coming here and generate it from here so this is how you do it so here i've already created a file which i've named it as security credential so here you will need a public key then it will be encrypted so let me do this first come here and add that and this is the password that we are going to use so remember here in security credential you can come from the documentation here from the documentation from the documentation let's see the b2c you can see the b2c here in b2c i want to or not there did come here to apis then click b2c when you click b2c you can come here at security credential so that you can see what i mean with the security credential uh, the security credential let me see it's on the request board here you can see this is the value obtained after encrypting encrypting the api password this process for encrypting uh, the api password has been described under the document on online so uh, from this you can see this is uh, the direct do api documentation it's somehow complicated so let's come here again and see i want you to understand the security credential so you can come from the b2c they have said that they have described it here so let's see let's see the request parameters here there that's the beast to see result you can come here from request parameters definition so request parameter definition can describe uh, how the security credential should be done so you can see from this they have stated that this is the value obtained after encrypting the api uh, initiator password the, is the password on the uh, sandbox 
password on the sandbox has been uh, provided so on the simulator however the production password is created by the user is being uh, when the user is being created on the mpsa organization portal so i'm going to use the uh, here so what we, from this definition what we have understood is that we should encrypt the password so let's go back to our code here this code here so this is the password that will be encrypted then it will generate here so you need to have a public key if you want to generate it using your code so in order to get this public key you can come this public key you can come here at mpesa api certificates so mpesa api certificates when you click mpesa api certificate uh, the following are mpesa api certificate you need for b2c b2b then transaction api and reverse api so for production you will take this but for us we are taking for sandbox so you'll just click that then let me save it here at uh, certificate here i will save it at this uh, 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 this folder which we is the same that we're using for demonstrating so you can just save it there then let's come to our code because it's the same uh it's the same folder here it's here it has been this is where it is so when you download it this is what you'll get then you'll click it click it then open it up then copy this when you copy this you can just come here at security and, and the at the public key then just paste it there then the next thing we are going to test if it will generate the security credential uh, automatic from this so let's come here then do this and take that and paste it there so we have not echoed echoed the uh, we have not echoed it here let's echo the security credential echo then let's come again and see if it will generate a security credential and you can see from here we have generated a secure successful security credential that we going, we are going to use to uh, initiate b2c transaction so the next thing uh, in order to test it if it is working successful we can just do this i can come here and copy and take this file here the security credential then come to come here to the b2c then include the security credential include the security credential then i'm going to comment that because this security credential this file this variable will be accessed via this because are the same so i will just do this then come and test the b2c and see if the security credential that will be generated here which will be placed here will work successful so let's come to our test and write b2c and when we enter enter the b2c you can see organization then accepted successful so that's how you generate the security credential for your b2c and a transaction another so see you in the next video